Hi everybody, Micheline from Misha Makes here. I'm busy sewing. You've probably missed me. It's Easter. Today is Easter Saturday, tomorrow's Easter Sunday. His Lordship has just has gone off to return his two grandchildren back to them and me. We've had them all week, so I haven't had a chance to film, I haven't had a chance to do anything. They arrived on last Saturday, last Sunday, and we've had them right through. So this is why you haven't seen me. Anyway, at the moment, I told you I go to this swing fit thing. I told Oh, first of all, before I say anything, I have some answers. We got our figures wrong, didn't we? When I, we were telling you about the price of petrol per gallon, it wasn't per gallon, it's per litre. Because I know a lot of you were saying, oh, if it was that price in the UK, in US, we'd love it. It was actually the price per litre. And at the moment, the current price per litre in the UK for petrol is, it's £1.52.9 per litre up here. And when we were down in Maidstone, it was actually £1.63. So it's more expensive the further south you go. <clears throat> and probably cheaper further north, I'm not sure. But yes, we got our, our litres. We, we said gallons and it wasn't gallons, it was litres. And also the Americans, a lot of the Americans, somebody said gallons in the, U, in the UK are different from gallons in the US. And the difference between the gallon in the UK and the US is the US gallon, one US gallon is equivalent to 0.83 of our gallons. So if I do it the other way around, one UK gallon, an imper we, we call it an imperial gallon, an imperial gallon in England is 1.2 gallons in, Aust in in America. So it's a little bit more, our gallon is more than your gallon. Um, so yes, the price is per litre, and that was one pound, one pound 52, almost one pound 53 litre at the moment. Now then, uh, let me answer some other questions. What are the questions that I have? I've saved some comments that some of you gave me, but because <clears throat> I thought they'd be quite good. I've just got to find them. So where are they? Um, I do read all your comments. I just haven't had the time to answer you all. Um, right. Susan Woods was asking about my dyeing. My dyeing of clothes. And yes, I do dye a lot of clothes. If I make something and I like the style, but I'm thinking... The colour's just not me, it's not working for me. I then go and dye it. And if I dye it and it just still doesn't work, I try dyeing it again. Dye a different colour. And then if that still doesn't work, then I might put it up for sale or I might put it in the charity bag. Very rarely does it go up for sale or rarely does it go in the charity bag. I get my wear out of it first. I always try to get my wear out of it. But Susan Wood said, your dresses are all lovely. You do do a lot of dyeing. Do you put anything in to set it and does it run out on subsequent washes? Years ago when I dyed, the colour did run. But this new dye pod, and I'll put a picture up there to let you see what it looks like. <coughs> I've caught a cough again from the grandkids. This new, the, the Dylon dye pods that we use, which are British, I don't know if you can get them in America or any other countries. Uh, the dye pods are fixed, there's salt in them, and that fix, it's the salt that fixes the dye. And when you put it in the washing machine, it dyes the fabric. My machine does about eight, eight or ten rinses after that, so it rinses everything. And by the time it comes out, there is no colour run. There's absolutely no colour on at all. I wouldn't wear a dyed thing to bed in case it, say, I don't, I don't sweat very much, but supposing I did sweat and the sweat went, caused it to, it might cause it to run onto the, onto the bedding. So, but wearing it, it doesn't run, it doesn't fade, it stays the same colour and I, I love using it. Um, what was I going to say? So, so yes, and it's a good, it's a good, um, I do like these Dylon pods. I find them really, really good. I think if I was using the other ones that weren't machine dye ones, you can get little tin dye, tins of dye that you do in a dish, in a pan. You would have to rinse and rinse and rinse in a washing machine to get rid of it. 
cleaning my washing machine I give the machine a good rinse afterwards I just set it to rinse for about a 10 minute rinse it rinses it and then I clean around the rubber seal of my front loading washing machine and then I can even put whites in after that and everything's fine. I tend not to. I tend to put a, all my colours in next and that will really make sure that everything's gone. But I've never had any colour run to anything else. So, um, touch wood, <laughs> so far. And I have dyed quite a lot. Right, what's the next one? The next one is um, this... Remember this dress that I tried on and I said, well, I didn't try it on. I was telling you how it had, the colour was was wrong there. Well, that's me wearing it and trying it on. Um, lovely dress, but I didn't like the colour run. So what did I go and do? I dyed it again. And I actually dyed it blue. And because that, because it's a, red, it's a reddish colour, when I dyed it, I dyed it with blue and it came out purple. And I love it. I think it's great. Now, you might not have noticed as well, but there is a little... Um, I actually cut it too short. And I actually added a piece of fabric. I can't remember if it was to the front or the back, because you can't. it doesn't show there. I added a piece of fabric, and there's a slight... You may notice a slight piece of fabric on the bottom. I actually had to put a curve in. But you know me, I'm a jigsaw lady. I, I won't waste fabric. I won't waste things. I knew I wouldn't wear it if it was shorter, so I didn't want to cut it shorter, so I left it with that. I put, I added that piece of fabric, and then I levelled all the all the hem off. Anyway, I'll stop there because there's another cut. There's one other one that I want to have his lordship with me, so that we can tell you about it. But you know, I was saying I go to Swing Fit. Well, they have given me. Well, they haven't given me. I. They have a, a t-shirt that uh, they sell, and this is the t-shirt. It says Swing Fit on the top, it's a V-neck, and on the back it says Swing Fit, Feel the Joy of Fitness. And uh, I got this just before I got COVID, so I haven't had I haven't worn it at, at Swing Fit yet. And um, I bought an extra large because I want I wanted an extra large, but I decided that what I was gonna do was I put a split up the side and I I've, I've put a fabric because I don't like t-shirts clinging me, I put a split up the side and I've uh, used this fabric, some spare fabric that I had to <clears throat> to line it on the side. The split is quite long split because if we're going to be doing all sorts of things as well, legs and arms, I didn't want it all hunching up over my bottom. The other side I've yet to do and I'm busy doing this like that. You'll notice that it hasn't got a seam up there, which is making it a little bit awkward here. So what I did there was I I actually made a false seam. And that's a little false seam where I just made a tiny little fold and I did a false seam right up to the armpit so that I could get that lying flat. Because had I not done that, I would have had a little bunched up bit here. So I made this false seam going up, and it's only a matter of a couple of millimetres, but that's what I did there. Uh, excuse the different colours of thread. I'm not bothered, I'm just using what was in my machine. That's a pinky red, and that's a very pale pink. I think what happened was I did one, the, the darker thread is my bottom, my bottom spool, and the lighter thread is my top spool. So I had that on the top. But this bit I sewed from that side, so that's why my light pink is on the front and not, not on that side. So we've got the other side to do and then I'll let you see what it looks like. What else am I up to? Um, still tidying up. Um, <clears throat> um, getting very close to 10,000 subscribers. By God, it's taken a long time. I see some people get shut up from, from 8,000 to 17,000. And I think overnight they go from 8,000 to 17. I'm thinking, how on earth have they got that many subscribers? And it's because it's been gone on so slow. I kept thinking, well, maybe nobody likes me. Maybe I'm wasting me time. I know I've got a lot of people who do say they like me, but maybe it's people look at my video and say, oh, God, this is boring. You know, and I don't want to watch an old lady. So, And then I say, you other old ladies getting lots of uh, likes and, and subscriptions. And I'm thinking, well, what am I doing wrong? <laughs> but anyway, I am finally... I've, 
it's I've been stuck between 9,400 and 9,600 for about the past six months and it's been really really difficult to get people to subscribe so that's why I've started bunging up this thing about subscribe because I don't normally ask you to subscribe but I'm thinking should I, you know, and I could do with a few more subscribers and in part because I do, I have to admit, yes, I do get paid for the number of people who subscribe. Is it for, no, it's not for the number of people. I do get a little bit for the number of people who watch the vlogs and that helps me uh, pay for, just pay, it helps me pay for the time that I take in putting them together. Nothing else. I buy all my fabric fabric myself. I often um, I buy uh, gadgets and things myself. And some, to, to be honest, this 10,000, uh, when I reach 10,000, I'm gonna have a few giveaways. And I've got a few things that I bought myself for to give away. I bought them about, when did I buy them? I bought them over a year ago thinking when I get 10,000 I'll start having this, these competitions and it's taken so long but I, I, what I'm going to do is when I reach 10,000 I'm going to have every other every pro, every vlog I do I'll have a little giveaway and it will not might be anything, something from something small to something fairly big or whatever but I'm going to have a giveaway to thank you lot who have subscribed for subscribing and um, and enjoying my vlogs I'm now, I have put up some vlog, some views of the dresses that I've made and the first one is, I've already talked about it, is the named clothing take a dress and it shows you the two versions that I did. The cotton, jer the cotton jersey one is the larger size, the green one is the smaller size. Slightly close on the belly and everything but the intention is I'm losing weight but it's been very slow because when you've got grandkids you're eating all the time grandma can have a biscuit grandma and you know uh grand granddad can I have this can I have that and you tend not to um I haven't been watching my weight let's say in the past week so but I'm hoping to gradually start losing weight and that green one will fit me a lot better it will drape a lot better and uh then so do, do I have anything, any negatives about it? Um, not really. I think probably what, if you look at the green, the green chalice one, I've made buttons and buttonholes and you can see where even though they're nicely positioned, the chalice tends to pull it a bit. And I think next time, if I made that dress again, I think I would do a false opening. I like this false opening because you don't have to fuss on with the buttons. I think I'd make a false opening not bother with the buttonholes and just sew buttons on where the where the where they should be and then you won't get that bunching between it's it's not bad it's not it's not obvious but it's 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 annoying to me you might not notice it but it's annoying to me and um what else do i want to tell you oh then so yes i would do it again would you do it again yes what fabric would you do it in? Well, to be honest, I did like that jersey. That jersey was a lovely soft jersey. It was really nice. I would do another jersey one. It's a nice dress. I'm happy with the grey one. Um, some of you said dye it. Some of you said no, keep it the way it is. I'm going to wear it the way it is, as I've said to you earlier on. And if I don't like it, then I might dye it. But uh, it's, I've got to get my wear out of it in that colour and then I will change it possibly later.
number, but I'll put it there. The new look, ba -ba 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 -ba, which I told you in my last one, I had actually extended the skirt length to make into a dress. And the first one I'm going to show you is the one that shows you the before when it was in that rusty brown colour and when it was in the purple, the after. I love both styles, but because the rusty brown one had little, uh, it hadn't been dyed it properly. I think I had put two men, I put a couple of garments in at the time or two lots of fabric in. It was slightly st streaky. So I've redone it and it's turned out purple. I'd redid it in navy blue as I've mentioned before. Turned out purple. Very happy with it. So did you will see following I did a, um, a a red one which was fabric that I dyed a, red, a, a pinky red color and then I did an orange one which was fabric that I dyed an orange color and then my um, my uh, polyester jersey which I had great difficulty sewing on my serger. Someone said, did you change the needles? And I have to confess, no, I didn't change the needles on my serger. But every other polyester jersey when I've done, I've never changed my needles. I only change my needles if they break on my serger. And I never, ever have any issues. The serger sews beautifully. I get lovely, ed you know, sergered edges. But with that fabric, and it's happened once or twice before, and I don't know if it's a company that makes them, maybe they all come from the same company, or the fibres that they use, I just could not get it to sew properly. Uh, I've, it's, it's, I didn't bother surging the edges. So the inside has, it, it sewed well on one machine, on the ordinary machine. And I did, I can't remember what stitch I did, but I, it sewed well on there, but just did not like the serger. The serger was cutting the fabric, but it, was, it was, wasn't it was doing the edging sewing. And all four needles, were, uh, the two needles were threaded. Everything was running properly, but for some reason it just would not take. But I do like the dress. So you will now see what these old dresses, what these, these dresses look like. Would I do them again? Yes. They actually reminded me of a cashmere one that I made. Um, <clears throat> can't remember what that one was called. I'll put that one up. Cashmere is a very similar dress pattern and uh, it's one of the styles I do like to wear. I find that it flatters my hourglass figure. Um, mind you, I'm not really like that. I'm more kind of out and then going a bit wider and then out. But I have got the kind of hourglass figure. So um, that style, I really feel it suits my figure. I'm going to have to stop now. I'm going to have to love you and leave you and catch you next time. Bye!